Hi, welcome back to the Go Engineer YouTube channel. My name is Brady Daniels, and I am a certified applications engineer with Go Engineer. In today's video, we will discuss the process of applying colors and appearances to your SolidWorks files. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. It's completely free and helps us quite a bit. Let's get into the video. There are several ways to apply colors to a part file, but before we start, it is important to understand the appearance hierarchy in SolidWorks. Simply put, the geometry we apply an appearance to will determine its place in the hierarchy. So, according to our graphic here, an appearance applied to a face will override an appearance applied to a feature, and so on. The order goes face over feature over body over part. With this in mind, let's apply some appearances. My preferred method is right clicking a face in the viewport and selecting the appearances drop down menu. This menu is great because it gives us access to the hierarchy based on our selection. We can use this to add, edit, or delete appearances for the selected geometry. For now, I will choose the part level appearance, which will open the property manager with the face pre selected. We can change the color using pre made swatches, or we can choose specific RGB values. The SOLIDWORKS 2021 version introduced the color picker, which we can use to grab a color from anywhere on our screen. I'm going to grab this nice blue color from the Go Engineer website. If you have specific colors that are used over and over, you can add them to the default swatches or custom made swatches. Appearances are applied to all display states by default, but at the bottom of the property manager, we can apply them to specific display states. Once the appearance is applied, we can access it through the display manager. The display manager lists all appearances and expanding each item reveals the geometry that it is applied to. Of course, we can right click an item to access options related to that appearance. There is also an edit appearance button in the heads up toolbar. This is a great tool when used in conjunction with pre-selections. For example, if I click this face on the model before opening the tool, it will pre-populate this selection box with the face. We can also pre-select features in the tree, bodies from the solid bodies folder, or the part file at the top of the tree. And we can always use these filters to make selections if we don't make a pre-selection. Now, if we want to copy over an appearance to new geometry, we can do so by right-clicking a face and choosing Copy Appearance from the Context menu. We can then right-click a different face and paste that appearance. For this to work, we have to hold our mouse still after selecting Paste, because a menu will pop up next to the cursor. Here, we can select the level in the hierarchy that we want to apply this appearance to. I'm going to paste it over to this shaft on the feature level because if I choose face, it will get rid of my cosmetic threads, which we can see in the preview. Okay, so if we are working on a part file and we are doing a lot of work with appearances, we can expand the display pane and access our appearances while the tree is open. We can right or left click these appearance icons to edit or remove them. However, we cannot access the face level appearances from here. As you can see, the appearances applied to these two faces do not appear in this pane. You would need to go to the Display Manager to view those. So far, we have been manipulating colors, but we can add more complex appearances from the Appearances, Scenes, and Decals tab in the Task Pane. This tab has a library full of appearances that are meant to emulate real-world materials by including surface finish, image, and illumination properties. And we can simply grab these appearances and drag them onto the part to place it. Now you're probably thinking that this doesn't look like brushed bronze at all, it looks like I applied an ugly brown color. To get the full effect, we need to expand our view settings and enable real view graphics. We can also enable other view settings like shadows and shaded mode or ambient occlusion to make the part look even more realistic. If we want to apply an appearance from the library and we know that we will need to make some changes, we can hold Alt while dragging the appearance to make sure the property manager opens. We can of course change the color here, 
but if we open the advanced settings, we can access the surface finish, illumination, and other settings that make the appearance look realistic. Another cool aspect of appearances is that materials applied to the model have a custom appearance that is applied simultaneously. Let's open the materials menu here and look at the appearances tab. We can see in this section exactly what appearance will be applied if we switch to this material. Switching over to an assembly file, we have one more level in the hierarchy to consider. We can use this extra level to apply an appearance to a component in the assembly without affecting the part file. For example, I'll use this option to switch the color and when we reopen the part file, we can see that it wasn't affected. This example also shows that the assembly level appearances override any appearance applied at the part level. We still have access to other hierarchy levels, but these will affect the part file, so be careful when using those. Also, the display pane for an assembly will show a split square for the appearance icon. The lower section shows the appearance applied at the part level, and the upper portion shows the appearance applied at the assembly level. And we can of course click an icon here to open the property manager and make edits. However, we now have an extra option to apply the appearance to the assembly level or part level. Thanks for watching. I hope this look at appearances in SolidWorks was helpful. If you liked the video, feel free to leave a like and let us know if you have any questions or suggestions for content that you would like to see in the comment section. Also, please subscribe to the Go Engineer YouTube so you don't miss our videos.